As image makers, we need to look around. We need to see the world. We need to go to museums. We need to go to galleries so we can understand the use of color and light and shadow. In that respect, everything needs to be considered. If there's a rule for the images that we're trying to make, they shouldn't just appeal to architects. They should be images that when framed, your grandmother falls in love with it and wants to hang on her wall. So the purpose of our image making is not to recreate a photograph. We have the ability to play with light, to play with atmosphere that potentially makes that image more visually engaging. This is our perception of reality. There's an understanding of the colour within a composition. So that colour palette is often driven by the colour in a brick or the timber or the floor. The image in its entirety needs to harmonise. As well as photography, there are painters that we look at. The way that they have painted with colour and tone and light, they're in museums. And it kind of occurred to me that we are recording the architecture of our time. We want to celebrate those images by framing them and put them on a wall. So in years to come, could you have a museum where there are digital paintings that people want to come and visit. A song can be broken down into different elements. They all play a part in the composition of that soundtrack. There'll be something about that song that makes you want to play that song over and over again. And maybe each time you'll pick up on different elements. If we make a successful image, you'll want to look at it over and over again. Maybe the more that you look at it, you will then pick up the fact that there's leaves on the ground, or there's dapple shadow in the corner, or there's a figure in the window. So there's thought into every aspect 